Perfumery is this very like she-she, la-la, private world. It's a field that could benefit from a little bit of poking and messing with and tinkering with and so that's sort of what I'm hoping to do. My name is Saskia Wilson-Brown. I am the founder and director of the Institute for Art and Olfaction. Scent is a strange medium because you can fiddle around with like, you know, your oils and stuff and make something that smells interesting and okay, that's cool, you know. But there's so much depth to it that I think that without, you know, a little bit of education, you're not really aware of the potential. You kind of need a little bit more information to, to do well. So we're going to have workshops and classes that are um, open to the public. Things like this are often very set on perfumery or, or perfume as art. But this really is, it's, you know, we're up for anything all sorts of strange collaborations. I mean, the more weird and creative, the better, really. I mean, I always knew that the point would be to create a space where you can work with scent in a, in a creative way. So to create sort of a, an arts structure for perfumers, or, or a perfumery structure for artists. I don't see why smell or taste couldn't be considered art, too, uh, in the correct context. Newer techniques, but firstly, I'll talk about a really ancient technique called en fleurage. Think of something, you know, that you would do and think of how you could enhance that with an olfactory component, the environment you're in or whatever idea you have. What is it that you could add to that with scent that would make it stronger or more potent or, or maybe a little bit weird? You know, if, if people are thinking about that and coming to the Institute, then we've succeeded.